Today we're going to talk about OBD2 scanners. OBD2 scanners can help you diagnose the check engine light if you've got one on your vehicle, but they can do a bunch of other things too. What I've got today is a OBD2 Bluetooth diagnostic scanner device, and I've got an Android tablet. Pretty much any Android device with Bluetooth will work. And I've got the Torque Pro app, which costs $4.99 on the Play Store. These two cost about, uh, they, they cost less than uh, a code scanner would cost you at an auto parts store, and they can do so much more. OBD2 is a standard for diagnostics that's been around since 1996. Any vehicle since 1996 has to have a port to plug one of these into, and it has to be in arm's reach of the driver's seat. On the ProMaster, the OBD port is directly under this fuse box. I'm going to go ahead and plug this device in, and then you can see where it is. I can't really easily show you the port. There we go. You can see we've already got power. Not all vehicles will provide power, but the ProMaster does when the vehicle's not off. Now, on your Android device, you have to pair Bluetooth to the device itself. To do that, we have to start the vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and start the van. And under your Bluetooth settings, you can see that I've got a paired device called OBD2. You may need to search for Bluetooth devices and select the OBD2 port. But uh, your device will probably have a pin on it, and it will likely be 0000 or 1234. Uh, once you're paired, though, you can go ahead and fire up the Torque Pro app and set up your profile. Every vehicle that you scan should have a profile. And on the Ram ProMaster, I just set up a profile type of van with an engine displacement of 3.6 liters. I took a guess that my van is a little over 6,000 pounds and just put in 2,800 kilograms. This doesn't really have an option for pounds. Um, for fuel type, we're using petrol versus diesel, uh, the UK convention. For fuel tank capacity, we're, we've got a fuel tank of 24 gallons on the Ram ProMaster, and our max dial RPM on the tachometer on the dash is 7,000. I'm not going to worry about fuel costs. I'm not really concerned about using Torque Pro to tell me how many miles uh, I'm getting per dollar or uh, how many pennies per mile I'm costing. It just that That's not something that interests me. If you've got a check engine light, you can use this fault codes scanner to see what those fault codes are, and it'll tell you what your check engine light is all about. I don't have one on, so I'm not going to waste your time scanning. It takes three to five minutes sometimes. The real fun is with real-time information. And with real-time information, you've got a display, and you can add gauges to this display, and you can set what kind of gauge you want. I'm just going to do a simple needle gauge. Once you select that, you can scroll through the pages and pages and pages of values that your OBD2 scanner is sending to the Torque app. And so you can, anything that's highlighted in green here is something that you can select. So I could select, for instance, um, intake air temperature. And we can see our intake air temperature in a gauge right here. Um, not sure why you care about intake air temperature, it was just the first one I saw. I already created a whole page of uh, gauges that I personally care about when I'm driving. And for me, that's speed and throttle, your uh, tachometer, your coolant temperature. I care about the alternator and what voltage is sending the battery, fuel flow, and miles per gallon. This is obviously flatline because we're not driving. I also set up two gauges for each of the banks of catalytic converters on the vehicle. This just helps me keep track of uh, kind of engine exhaust temperature in the catalytic converter. It's just some nerdy thing that I enjoy. A couple of people asked me how I've got this mounted, and I'm using Scotch Magic mounts, and I'll link to those in the YouTube description. But these mounts just sit on with uh, really sturdy double-sided mounting tape, and they come with metal plates that you can attach to the back of your phone and your tablet. And I just snap that on up here, and away we go. Let's see here. 
and my gauges are all sideways now. I'll figure that out later. For my phone, I'm using the suction cup magic mount, and I'm, it comes with a plate that I'm using that also is double-sided taped down to the armrest. I chose this location because when I'm driving, it doesn't interfere with either one of my mirrors, including my wide-angle mirror. And I don't really like sticking these things on windshields. This is a nice, easy place. With my left hand, I can access my phone if I absolutely have to. Uh, the Uconnect provides a good, valuable service in me, so I don't actually have to dial anything by hand and look at my phone a lot. Anyhow, that's about all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.